the UK has offered a larger potential divorce bill to the EU, which could be worth up to 50 BN euros, pound 44 BN, the BBC understands. It was broadly welcomed, political editor Laura Kinsberg said, although number 10 has played down reports the final sum could be up to 55 BN euros, pound 49 BN. Asked on a trip to Iraq if a figure had been agreed, Theresa May said talks were continuing. And the EU's negotiator Michel Barnier said we are not there yet. In September Theresa May suggested the UK was willing to pay about 20 BN euros to meet obligations arising from its membership but the EU has been calling for its offer to be increased. The UK is hoping to move on to talking about trade but the EU will only do this when it deems sufficient progress has been made on three areas, the so-called divorce bill, the rights of EU citizens in the UK after Brexit and the Irish border. The EU says the UK needs to settle its accounts before it leaves. It says the UK has made financial commitments that have to be settled as part of an overall withdrawal agreement. The UK accepts that it has some obligations. And it has promised not to leave any other country out of pocket in the current EU budget period from 2014 to 20. But the devil is in the detail. There are also longer term issues like pensions for EU staff and how the UK's contribution to these is calculated for years to come, and the question of what happens to building projects that had funding agreed by all EU members including the UK but which will only begin construction after the UK has left. Large amounts of the EU's budget are spent in two areas, agriculture and fisheries, and development of poorer areas. Pressure is mounting to make progress on the Brexit talks before a crunch summit in mid-December, when EU leaders will decide if enough progress has been made on the first set of subjects to open negotiations on a future trade deal between the EU and the UK. According to the Daily Telegraph and the Financial Times, agreement has now been reached between the two sets of negotiators on how the bill could be calculated. Speaking in the Commons, Treasury Minister Liz Truss declined to comment on what she described as media speculation and insisted any financial settlement was contingent on the UK getting the right overall outcome. But Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson said the UK would make a fair offer to help break the current deadlock. Now is the moment to get the whole ship off the rocks and move it forwards, he said during a trip to Ivory Coast, where he is attending a meeting of European and African leaders. The BBC understands detailed conversations are still taking place on which specific components will be included in the final bill and how they are calculated. The final bill is likely to be paid over many years rather than in a single upfront sum. At the moment no. But there appears to have been an agreement on the way that the amount the UK pays will be calculated and the BBC understands that the range of possible settlements is between approximately 40 BN and 55 BN euros. Transport Secretary Chris Grayling told BBC Radio 4's today, there are no numbers for us to discuss this morning.